The arrival of a new BMW 5 Series is unquestionably big news. Not only has it always been a big seller for BMW, the previous 5 Series, the F10, particularly in very frugal, very low emissions 520D form, pretty much forced a change of tax system on the Irish government when people realised that you could buy this big, luxurious executive saloon and tax it for the same cost as a small family hatchback. That tradition continues in this, the new G30 edition of the 520D, because it keeps the 190 horsepower 2 litre turbo diesel engine, it keeps the low CO2 emissions and it keeps that low, low tax rating, all of which is extremely good news. There's more extremely good news, primarily of which is that the quality of this car is truly exceptional. Now, you can criticise, and I am going to criticise this interior for possibly looking a bit too familiar, for being a bit too full of 7 Series bits and pieces, for being a bit too much like the old 5 Series interior, but there is no getting away from the fact that it is exceptionally well built in here really really beautiful hefty lovely quality there are some new bits and pieces as well we've got these new electronic dials which are spreading out across the entire bmw range at the moment uh, although i have to say that while they're handsome in this form where they mimic the effect of normal analog dials they're not quite so good looking in sport mode or eco pro mode what's also new is the new iDrive system now we have seen it before on the 7 series but it's new to the 5 gets this tiled layout which you can customize the way you want uh, it's also a touch screen now and you do get gesture control which is kind of fun the kids love it but it's ultimately a little bit pointless if we're being honest other good points though are extremely high levels of comfort great seats very good refinement really only on startup will you notice that this is a diesel powered car at all other times the engine is truly impressively hushed and quiet and other things road tire wind noise they're all kept down very very well this is a very comfortable quiet and relaxing car in which to travel economical too but perhaps it's just a bit too relaxing there is a sensation that bmw has chased the mercedes e-class in terms of refinement and caught up with the mercedes in fact but in doing so it's kind of thrown away a bit of what made the 5 series so great over so many successive generations the big culprit here is the steering now it's fine it's accurate it gives you the confidence to chuck the car around a bit in corners and when you engage sport mode it waits up a little bit and the, the feel and feedback increases just a touch but it's never quite there, it's never quite good enough. I compare it to looking at a beautiful, perfectly crafted painting from across the end of a long art gallery. You can see it, you can see how good it is, you can tell how well crafted it is. But the old 5 series, the F10, and particularly the preceding E65, well, that put you right up there in the brush strokes. It put you right down there on the canvas. You could feel and touch everything. This one just distances you that little bit. It's not as much fun to drive as the old 5 series. That said, it's more fun to drive than pretty much anything else in the class, with the exception of the Jaguar XF, which I think now definitely takes the handling and steering championship in this class of car. I'd put this new 5 Series on a par, roughly, with the new Mercedes E-Class, which makes it a very, very good car indeed. But perhaps it's a hair behind the E. It is as comfortable and it is as refined, but it is lacking that old 5 Series magic. It isn't sucking you into the driving experience the way a 5 Series used to and the way a 5 Series should do. So it's good, maybe not great, certainly good, but just lacking that little spark of magic, I'm afraid. It's also not cheap. This one has been specced up to a fairly chunky €73,000. Now the starting price is in the low 50s, which sounds reasonable on first acquaintance, but then you realise that that's gone up a lot from the old 520D, nearly eight, seven or 8,000 euro, depending on which specific version you're looking at. Now, BMW counters that by saying that there's a lot more standard equipment and you do get a lot of new tech. This iDrive system now has BMW Connect, which puts the car in touch with the universe through the magic of the internet. And this car also has a lot of self-driving features. It will, like the Volvo S90, like the Mercedes E-Class, 
take a certain amount of control on the motorway. It'll do steering for a few seconds at a time. It has active radar guided cruise control, lane keeping assist and all of those governed. So you are getting more for your money in that respect, but then well, you're paying more money up front, so you'd want to.